Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review this Antop Big Boy Indoor Outdoor Antenna. It features a low profile design, built in Smart Pass amplifier, and claims an 85 mile range. How well does it actually work? Stay tuned to find out. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Now the first thing I need to mention for those of you who are seeing me for the first time is that there's no such thing as an HD antenna. The whole HD and digital thing came from the digital transition of 2009. There's a lot of misinformation about TV signals including the myth that you need a special HD antenna to pick up HD frequencies. The reality is that an antenna is an antenna. It doesn't matter if the signal is analog, digital, or what they'll say, TSC 3.0 or 4K in the future. These are just keywords antenna companies use to improve the search results on their antennas. It also confuses people into thinking they're getting a special antenna, when in reality, the keyword means absolutely nothing. What does matter is the size of the antenna and the frequencies it's designed to pick up. There are two main bands that TV stations broadcast on, VHF and UHF. VHF TV stations broadcast on channels 2 through 13 and typically require a longer antenna element to be picked up, while UHF TV stations broadcast on channels 14 through 36 and are better picked up with smaller antenna elements. It's also very important to understand that most TV stations do not broadcast on a channel number you may know them as or see on air. For example, in Philadelphia, there's an NBC10. The average person would think they broadcast on channel 10 and they need a good VHF antenna. They actually broadcast on UHF channel 28. The same can be said for most TV stations across the United States. The current digital TV standard allows them to broadcast on a different RF channel than what is shown on your TV set. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org type in your address and click that little check mark that says the antenna will be installed 30 feet above ground level, even if it's not, and it will provide you a list of stations you can likely pick up at your location. Look at the RF channel on each station. That's the channel the stations are broadcasting on. So for example, WBRE 28 actually broadcasts on VHF channel 11. If you don't see any channels listed on antennaweb.org, don't freak out and assume you won't get reception with an antenna. The website tends to underestimate how many channels a person can receive with an antenna. You can also use the FCC DTV reception maps or rabbitears.info. I attach links to both in the description of this video. So now that I got all the antenna myths out of the way, I can talk more about this antenna, the Antop Big Boy. The build quality is actually pretty good with a low profile dual indoor and outdoor design. The size is comparable to most other basic small directional antennas. The same exact design has been used by several other antenna companies including Marathon and Free HD Unlimited. While the product listing claims an 85 mile range, I don't see any antenna this small working that well at that distance. Sure, there's a chance this antenna may pick up a few TV stations from 85 miles away if you're on a mountaintop, but I don't see them being that reliable. If you're 85 miles away from the broadcast towers, there's no way around it. You're going to need a large antenna. The antenna also comes with a smart pass amplifier. What I like about it is you have the ability to try the amplifier on or off with a simple switch. In some situations, an amplifier is needed, especially with a long coaxial cable, while in other situations like mine, an amplifier can actually make reception worse. So besides some of the exaggerated claims, how well does this antenna actually work? I'm going to test it out in the same location I tested out various other outdoor antennas to see how well it performs. If you decide to purchase this antenna, please use one of my affiliate links in the description of this video to help support my YouTube channel. Here are the results from the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, RF channel the TV station broadcasts on, 
and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. All of these TV stations are about 42 miles away with one mountain ridge between my home and the broadcast towers. You can also see the results of various other outdoor antenna models by checking out my other videos. The signal on CBS3, which broadcasts on UHF channel 30, was about the same on this antenna compared to the RCA model and higher than the five-star Yagi. The signal on NBC10, which broadcasts on UHF channel 28, was also about the same on this antenna compared to the small RCA model and higher than the five-star Yagi. The consistency continues with the signal on WPHL-17. It was about the same on this antenna as the RCA antenna and higher than the five-star Yagi. The signal on Fox 29, which broadcasts on UHF channel 31, was, as you guessed it, about the same on this antenna compared to the small RCA model and higher than the five-star Yagi. The signal on WHYY, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, had trouble being decoded on this antenna, likely because it has limited gain on the VHF band. I do still expect this antenna to pick up VHF as long as the signals aren't too weak, like in my case. Overall, this antenna performed comparable to other small directional antennas because it is a small directional antenna. Slapping in keywords like smart pass amplifier or 85 mile range in the product listing is not going to make this antenna perform as well as a larger antenna. It still did a decent job. While the VHF gain wasn't super high, I still expect it to work well for areas within 40 miles of the broadcast towers without too many mountains or hills. The low profile design is also very pleasing if you have a wife who says, dare I say it? I don't know if I should say, I think someone complained the last time I said it. What the heck? I don't want this big antenna on my roof! This would also work great as an indoor antenna with its low profile design, similar to the Clearstream antennas. If you decide to purchase this antenna, please use one of my affiliate links in the description of this video to help support my YouTube channel. Now if you have multiple VHF TV stations beyond 30 or 45 miles away with a lot of trees around, I'd recommend a larger antenna with more gain. Feel free to use my YouTube channel as a resource to research antennas. I also offer antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. I go through your unique reception situation, take a look at the signal strength on the frequencies in your area, and make a specific recommendation on what antenna would work best for you based on my experience testing out nearly 50 antenna models and installing them in four TV markets. Antennas are not a one-size-fits-all model. Investing in an antenna recommendation from me can prevent you from spending hundreds of dollars on the wrong antenna and hours on the roof, going up and off the roof, possibly falling off the roof. If you want to avoid all this madness, consider an antenna recommendation from me. Whether you purchase this antenna or another model, make sure it's properly grounded if outside to prevent static buildup, which can attract a lightning strike. I attached a video in my description that shows you how to properly ground an antenna. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. A huge thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord and you'd like to help support the channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more antenna reviews, cord cutting, and other reception tips, and have an awesome day.